Good uh, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Security Council's had a meeting on Tuesday afternoon to discuss the situation in Myanmar and exchange views about it. As you know, there's been some uh, consultations between members of the Council uh, since then, and the uh, Council members have uh, unanimously agreed the following statement, which uh, I, as President of the Council for this month, will now read out on behalf of the Council. The members of the Security Council reaffirm their statements of 11 October 2007, 2 May 2008, and 22 May 2009 on Myanmar, and reiterate the importance of the release of all political prisoners. In this context, the members of the Security Council express serious concern at the conviction and sentencing of Dao Aung San Suu Kyi and its political impact. The members of the Security Council note the decision of the government of Myanmar to reduce Dao Aung San Suu Kyi's sentence <clears throat> and urge the government of Myanmar to take further measures to create the necessary conditions for a genuine dialogue with Dao Aung San Suu Kyi and all concerned parties and ethnic groups to achieve, in order to achieve an inclusive national reconciliation. The members of the Security Council reiterate their support for the good offices role of the Secretary General. The members of the Security Council affirm their commitment to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Myanmar and in that context, reiterate that the future of Myanmar lies in the hands of all of its people. That's the statement that's been unanimously agreed uh, by members of the Security Council following the conviction and sentencing of uh, Aung San Suu Kyi. It calls for the immediate release of all political prisoners. Are you happy with this statement? This is a statement that's been agreed unanimously among the 15 members of the Security Council. Um, uh, I think we all know that different members of the Security Council have different views on uh, uh, the situation there, um, and uh, uh, the strong views in, in various Western capitals aren't entirely shared uh, in uh, countries uh, elsewhere. But there's been a collective effort to build on the common positions of the Security Council in our three earlier statements, and I think this is an important expression of serious concern by all members of the Security Council about the, uh, uh, the outcome of the trial of Dao Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, and it sets it in a political context. So in that sense, yes, I am satisfied with the statement. Was there any discussion of the, of the upcoming elections and, when, and whether, even if she is freed, uh, the, the, the way in which uh, one is required to have a military background to have a number of the seats in the parliament? Yeah. Well, the, uh, what we've, uh, as a Security Council, have supported is the process of national reconciliation in, um, uh, in Myanmar. Uh, it's important that that process is credible. We've called consistently for the um, uh, inclusiveness of that process so that all political parties, ethnic groups are included in that and we refer to that again in today's statement. So obviously that political process is very important and a number of actors, not least the Secretary General himself, has said that the elections that are planned for next year won't be credible if the, um, uh, uh, if, if the full participation of all those actors, including Aung San Suu Kyi, isn't provided for. What's, what's the next step now? How long will the... Uh government of Myanmar have to comply with the demands in this, the release of the prisoners, uh, including Aung San Suu Kyi? No, no one is setting a timetable on this, but the uh, government of Myanmar have their objectives, which is uh, uh, their, the process that they've set out. Uh, the international community has some reservations about that process. Um, we set some of them out again in this statement today. Uh, and uh, if the government of Myanmar want the um, uh, their process to have international credibility, they know what they have to do. Yes, madam. <laughs> Another uh, subject. Another, well, let's finish on Myanmar. Has there been any movement on, on 
this idea of uh, additional European Union sanctions that the French, uh, uh, I guess, proposed on Tuesday? Well, that's not a matter for the Security Council, but uh, I can certainly say in my national capacity that um, the uh, European Union is continuing its, uh, uh, its uh, deliberations on this. I think there is likely to be a decision in the next day or two uh, uh, on that question. Ambassador, isn't it called for genuine dialogue with her? Mm. Isn't that actually diluting the idea of including her in the election and her party in the election? So I don't understand the question. I mean, instead of saying that she, that the NLD should be part of the election, mm. you're saying they should dialogue with her, which means maybe, you know, that they can convince her not to. I think you're, you're misreading the statement. It's yeah. In the last, in the last uh, paragraph, Mr. Yeah. Ambassador, you said commitment to the sovereignty and territorial yeah. integrity of Myanmar. Yeah. Do you have concern in this regard? Um, in my national capacity, no, we don't have concerns in this regard, but we are uh, committed to the um, uh, uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity of, uh, of Burma. The, um, uh, a number of countries have expressed concern, and the Burmese themselves have expressed concern, uh, that there is a danger uh, that um, uh, releasing the controls, easing the controls in Burma, could lead to uh, the breakup of the country. We don't think that's, uh, uh, that's um, uh, uh, likely to happen, and we certainly don't want it to happen. So a commitment uh, which we all share, all members of the Council, to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Burma. It's important to remind people that we are all committed to that outcome. So th is this a message to the government of Myanmar? Hmm? It's a message. It's a message from the Council. The whole thing is a message from the Council to the government of Myanmar. You wanted one other question? Yes. This morning you had a meeting with the uh, Security Council, uh, with the uh, uh, troop contributor. On uh, Unifield, do you have yeah. anything to say? Uh, about actually, uh, I, my uh, uh, the deputy.